Welcome to SGA Times Explainer. I am Ashita Hoda. Today, we will be discussing Om Billa winning the first election of Lok Sabha Speaker's post in about five decades. Om Billa, a three-time BJP MP, has returned as Speaker of 18th Lok Sabha after beating Kodi Kunnil Suresh in the election. K. Suresh is an eight-time Congress MP from Kerala's Mavili Kara and the member with the most electoral victories in the current Lok Sabha. The battle, the first in 48 years, arose after the opposition accused the ruling National Democratic Alliance of snubbing them by refusing to relinquish the deputy speaker position. In the past two Lok Sabhas, they denied us the job of deputy speaker because they claimed you were not regarded as the opposition. Now that we are identified as the opposition, we are entitled to the office of the deputy speaker, but they are not willing to offer it to us. Suresh, who was said to be the NDA bloc's candidate for the position and later replaced Billa, remarked on Tuesday. Prime Minister Narendra Modi proposed the motion to elect Om Billa to the chair, which was passed by voice vote with the pro tem speaker proclaiming that the eyes had it. The Prime Minister delivered the first remark after Om Billa took the chair telling the smiling speaker that it is an honour for the House to have him for a record second term. The Prime Minister expressed optimism that Om Birla's five years as Speaker of the 17th Lok Sabha will enable him to steer the House on the right path and propel it to greater heights. The leader of opposition, Rahul Gandhi, also congratulated the speaker. He hoped that Om Birla will guarantee that the opposition's voice is heard in the House and that the procedures are handled cooperatively. The question is not how efficiently the House operates, but how India's voice is heard. The election demonstrated that the Indian people want us to safeguard their constitution. I would want to congratulate you again, Speaker Sir, and all members of the House, Rahul remarked. Om Birla, MP from Rajasthan's Kota, which is famed and infamous for its coaching factories, he comes from a third generation RSS family. Before that, he served as an MLA in the Rajasthan Assembly. That brings us to the end of today's SG Times Explainer. Thanks for watching.